You ready to get started with our warm up with our ultra toner total body workout? Here we go. Just regular stride. Get your body warmed up, your blood flowing, your joints and muscles lubricated. Let's stretch out those muscles. Put those hands right in front of you. Flat back down and roll it up. Feels good, Kim, doesn't it? Flat Feels back great. And roll stretch it up. It, roll it up slowly and all the way back. Again. One vertebrae at a time. Stretching out that upper back. And last time. Okay, let's take that right hand, put it right in front of you. Left hand, stretch out those shoulders. Just roll those shoulders back. Good. Remember, we're going to be working the arms today, too. You have to stretch it all out. Get your heart rate up, your blood flowing. Woo! Okay, let's do two more. And last one. Okay, that right arm goes back. We're going to stretch out the chest and the front deltoids, which is the front of the shoulders. Okay, just lean slightly forward and feel the stretch in the chest. Nice You're going to bring your stretch. shoulder blades together yep. and then release. You also feel this in your front deltoid, also your biceps. Okay, hold that stretch. You feel that? Good job. All right, next up, let's take those hands, put them back in front of you. Okay, now quit moving your legs, just hold them stationary. Cross them down, now flat back and roll it up. Again, flat back, roll it up, and resist against the shoulders as you roll up. And one more time, we're really stretching out the back, the trouble area. Okay, now take those hands, crisscross them. Okay, now pull, stretch out the rear deltoid, and release. One more time, pull, breathe in, blow out that air and release. All right, you guys ready for your circuit workout? Okay. Here we go, TBS. Ready? Oh yeah. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, going to do all advanced. You're gonna follow Corey for the beginner's workout. I'm the beginner. So I'm gonna, going to start inserting intervals into each circuit. So I want you to do just a slight knee bend for five, four, three, two, and one, and then come up for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. And as you go down, the reason why it's more advanced is because you're activating more muscles, so there's more strain to the muscles, which puts more development on the quadriceps and the glutes. Remember just to work at your own pace, because if you're a beginner, just stick with me. But no time at all, you'll be doing what Kim's doing over there. <laughs> well, you might get your turn with this a little I later. I think so. <laughs> okay, don't forget, down for five. And those beginners, when you're ready, you can throw in an interval wherever you feel comfortable. So if you're ready after a couple weeks, just insert a few at a time. And then come up for five, four, three, excellent. Two, one. I think we've got about 10 seconds. Good. Keep pushing and pulling. These are the important seconds. Keep going real hard. Come on. All right, circuit number two, body burner. Let's right, get started. All right, let's go back. Just lean, lean all the way back. back. Okay, advanced level. This is what I want you to do. I want you to come forward every five. So just a slight lean forward. Work in the chest. And a beginner just comes back to neutral. Four, three, two, and one, and, and back. back. For five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, and you know why this is so tough is because you're using your total body as resistance. So you're using your own body weight as resistance. So tighten up your muscles, especially your abdominals. Tight, tight, good. Hold it. Take it back to neutral if you're a beginner, like me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't think so. And take it back. And you can even work up to the point where you're doing your entire minute in the back position. OK, Woo! this is the body burner. We're done with this. Let's go on to the gluteus beauteus. All right, advance. This is what I want you to do. You are leading your body weight into the front body support piece. You are not doing this. You are actually leading every bit of your weight. And you are also bending your knees. You can do an interval for five, four, three, two, one, and then come up for five, four, three, two, and one. And then all of your weight. And push back and squeeze. That's, That's why right. they call it gluteus beauteus. It is, because it works your gluteus and, and we're nonstop. Squeezing. We're burning fat at the same time. We're squeezing those and tushies. beginners, too, you have to think about squeezing. That's the only way you get the beauteous out of the gluteus. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're giving that butt a little facelift back there. <laughs> OK, now here's another thing I want you to do. We call it putting on the brakes. Just watch me at first. That's what we do. You hold and squeeze, squeeze, 
squeeze, and then switch and squeeze. Squeeze, I want you to do, do this with me. First, okay, drive it, it out. And three, two, one, and hold. Two, three, four, and switch. Take a look. Two, you are working three, all of your leg four. muscles right now. They're isolated. Squeeze, and back okay. to the stride. Okay, body weight into the front body support piece. Squeeze. Really concentrate. And down for five, four, three, two, one, and up. All righty, we just finished up the gluteus beauteus. And because we know this is a trouble spot, we're going to go into the butt blaster. All right, I love the butt blaster. You thought this one was tough? Okay, body forward. Now remember, you're not doing this unless you're in the beginner mode. You are leaning all of your body weight into the front bar. And guess what? It's time for intervals again. So I want you down, slight knee bend, five, four, and squeeze, two, and one, and up. Five, four, three, two, one, all of your weight down for five, four, three, two, and one. What do we just do by going forward, Corey? Let's tell me. What you're doing is you're tensing your entire body, which works your total body, along with your gluteus. Whenever you bend your legs a little bit more, you work more of the muscles in the quadricep, which is the thigh Quicker. and the butt. Quicker. Quicker is the trick. Yes. So if you're ready, beginners, add in a few for down for five, four, three, two, one, and up. Excellent, you guys are doing fantastic. Feel that working in the glutes? We're down to 10. I know you do. 10 seconds? Yes. Come on, keep it up. Let's go. Push. These are the ones that squeeze. count. Hey, you know what's coming up? What's next? <laughs> Windspread. Oh, I feel right. like I'm already in one. <laughs> My favorite. Hey, we have a cute name for that one, too. What do we call it, Corey? The <laughs> Oxygenator. Oh, yeah, Oxygenator. Okay, ready? We're at five, four, three, two, one. Okay, everybody is down. Knee bend. Beginners also, you're gonna come up whenever you need a break. I want the advance to keep it bent throughout the entire one minute circuit. You're just pushing, you're squeezing. All of your body weight is into the front body support piece. Five, four, four three, three, two, and one. Okay. Everybody is in recovery or outpatient. Outpatient, Outpatient recovery. Okay, so just as important as the wind sprint itself is the recovery. Yes. Take it down, let's just take your heart rate down a little bit. Get some good, long, deep breaths. Get that oxygen back in there. Ooh, nice deep breaths and recovery. Okay. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna keep you here too long because we're gonna get you back up no, there. No, 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 we're going back up. In fact, when you can talk and if you're taking a breath about every few words, you're ready to pump it up. So. When you're ready, I want you to add in a slight knee bend for five, four, three, two, and one, and up. You beginners do this too, okay? You're yeah, I think we're all about ready. We're gonna get going. And you know what? We have to work the inner outer thighs. Oh. You know, we have, we've, we've really worked the butt, the back of the butt and the, and the hamstrings, but we do need to work the inner and outer thigh to get rid of the jiggle. What would you call that? Jiggle Terminator. I like it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get ready to do that next. Five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone sideways. You ready to go? The Terminator, jiggle, jiggle Terminator. Terminator. Here we go, open. Terminate. And close. Any extra fat there, especially on those saddlebags. Okay, try not to do this whole lift with your upper body. Do it Bend by your knees squeezing. slightly as you come down. Squeezing, squeezing the adductor out. and the abductors. We're also getting the glutes. Good. I think we might do a little brake action here somewhere oh, yeah. along the way. You ready? How about put on the brakes in three, two, one. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Now this Squeeze. hurts so good. This termination. Oh, okay, and in. Good. Squeeze. Last one. Hold for one and two. Great, right, you did it. Excellent. Let's go on forward. We're gonna go to the total body stride again. Now this is your ninth circuit, so you're doing real good. So all of you, I want you to start getting into it. Advance, this is what yes. we're gonna do. We're gonna go back into, what do we call this one, Corey? This go. is, oh, the body burner. The body burner, yes. yeah. So every five, you wanna switch back and forth. So come forward, 
Even the beginners, you should try to do this. Because remember, the more energy you put in, the more development you're going to get. Yeah. And what you have to do, too, is we're working the body, we're exercising the body. But guess what? You also need to exercise your mind. So visualize that beautiful body you're working on right now. It's all for a reason. That's why you're sweating. <laughs> this feels excellent. Woo! And resist and squeeze your chest and your shoulders. Constantly burning that fat, keeping your heart rate up. We're in our fat burning zone, aren't we? Oh, I, I think so. I think we hit that a while ago. <laughs> now, advance, you can even add an interval into this. After you come back, you're leaning back for five, four, three, two, one. When you come forward, bend your knees for five, four, three, two, and one, and then back. I think we need to go on to the next one, which is the butt burner. Oh yeah, back to bad. Okay. Okay, go five. ahead. Time to change. All the way forward. Again, advance. Watch what I'm doing. I'm leaning all of my body weight yes. into this bar. And Corey, didn't you say you're gonna have the beginners pick it up? I am. Too? So join with me and Cam. Uh, all and of our body weight. You yes. feel a difference, kid. Tighten so. your entire body. Concentrate. Tighten the stomach, the shoulders, the back, and squeeze the butt. Hey, and okay. I think, you know what? They can join us Deeper. in on the knee bend, too. Let's do that. I think they're ready. So down for five, four, three, two, one. Take a break. Yes. Up for five, four, three, three two, two, one. And down. And the deeper you go, the tougher it gets, the more muscles you're developing. And squeeze. Remember, we're getting those nice, long, slender, gorgeous, sexy muscles. And this is the butt lift. <laughs> this is where you lift your butt. <laughs> Get it's also the fat burner. Right here. <laughs> Every woman's problem area. Use this for that upper body. Concentrate. Think positive and visualize that gorgeous body. Come on. Doing great. Keep up the good work. And you know what? This feels so good. I think we need to go into a little oxygenator to really oh, already? blast off the ultimate fat burner. No. Uh, okay. It's like a few minutes hey, ago. You know what? You're all in on this one. Yes. Every single Beginners one of you. Too. You just gotta hold it for as long as you can. Take a break when you need to. Are we ready? Oh, we're ready. Okay, we bend your ready. knees. Hold all of your body weight into your front body support piece. Let's go. Squeeze. Come on, think positive. Go. Let's go. This is short. You can do it. Even you beginners, just keep up the good work. Come on. And we're all squeezing. This is gonna increase the rate at which you squeeze those at which you tighten up your buttocks. That's right, and make sure to keep your neck in line with your spine. Don't look up at the television set. Keep your head in line with your spine. Lean all Good of your job. weight into the front body support piece. Push back. You're not just striding, you're pushing back. And you're thinking about what you're doing. Yes. You're tightening and squeezing and pushing back. You're tightening your arms, your shoulders, yeah. and your stomach. You should Beginners, build in your arms. You can if you body. want. Go ahead and rest at this point. You did good. We're still in our oxygenator. Come on. I think recovery is coming up here soon. Huh? Yes, thank you. Outpatient. Okay. Three more seconds. We're going to go into recovery. And you know what that means. Let's take it back up. Oh, yes. It's nice and slow. Oh. Keep okay. moving, though. Don't stop. This is called active recovery. I was ready to stop. No stopping. <laughs> we're almost done. No stopping. Okay. Remember, Keep we only pace. have 20 minutes. Still fast pace. Keep your heart rate up. We're going to slow it down and then we're going to pick it back up. That's right. You can even shake out your arms a little bit. One That's arm at a time. The other arm. Make sure you keep your balance. Good job. Okay, I think we're ready. Pick it back up. And keep Everyone your stomach in. Down, knees tight. bend. Five. Beginners go down too. And up. Okay, the trick is to keep your abdominals tight. And at down. all times. Tight. Tight. Squeeze. Quads. My quads are working. Yes. Come up. And down. Hey, did we put on the brakes? Let's put on the brakes. There you go. And three, three two, two, one. one. Oh, Ooh. whoa. Other side. Sweet. Three, two, one. one. OK, just stride it out. I think it's time to do inner and outer thighs I again was because just we going know that's that. a trouble spot. Let's go. Sideways. Turn sideways. Okay, don't break your rhythm. Keep going. Open up. and close. Bend your knees. Open and close. Open, close. And squeeze, guys. Squeeze. Think about what you're doing when you open. I want you to squeeze because you know what? 
You're gonna work this part of your glutes too. Right. Not just your inner outer thigh. Right. You're gonna feel it working. She's gonna push you to think about what you're doing and squeeze. Squeeze. I think it's and time push. to put on the brakes. Ready? On three, two, last one, hold for one and two. Uh, let's go into the body burner. Okay. We're gonna give you that total body confidence. Okay. Okay, go ahead and just stride it out. And then slowly work your way back. back. Tighten up your stomach and your yeah. chest and your shoulders to maintain that proper body position. Think about squeezing, working our delts. We're, we're sculpting and shaping our entire upper body so that you can go into those sleeveless t-shirts and feel confident. That's right, look at your biceps shaping up there. Okay, let's take it forward. Four. Remember, we're burning fat all along. We're keeping our fat burning zone, our heart rate's up. Should we go back? Yeah. And back. Okay. Nice and tight. Your body should be like a rock, just nice and tight through this whole Feels good to me. body burner. All right, I've had enough body burner here. <laughs> oh, I think I have too. I think we're going to go to the problem areas once again. All right. With the beauteous gluteus, everybody. Take it forward. Okay. Now what I want everybody to do is gradually go a little deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Okay, tiny little steps. Just 12 oh. inches apart, hey, okay? Hey, if the last one was a body burner, or a, <laughs> what is this? This is the buttock burner. <laughs> oh, the buttock burner. Okay, now a little bit wider, but keep in this low lunge position. It will tone up your thighs, your butt, your glutes, and your hips. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice long stride. Okay, gradually take it in, real gradual, to a little one, but you're still in the squat position. Oh, my gosh. It's a burner. Okay, now go ahead and take it up for a little bit of recovery. Oh. And guess what, I think in this minute we're gonna do that one more time. Oh, uh, you know what, yeah, I, I like it. Because you know what, it feels good. I know what it's it doing to my body. You know what it's doing to your body. No more excuses. Here we go, okay, bend the knees. Little tiny, oh. tiny little pumps. And pump, pump, pump. Okay, wider, wider, wider. Oh. Excellent. Push, five, push, four, squeeze your butt. Three, two. <laughs> Oh, One. okay, let's and come on. And take it back up. All right. Just take it here. We're going to go ahead and go into a recovery. Nice deep breaths. Think about how good you feel. Ooh, think about how many calories you just burned, how much fat you just burned, how you just toned up your body. And remember, toned bodies, lean muscle tissue here, and be burning more calories all throughout the day. Okay, let's slow it down. A little bit slower. Bringing it down. We've got another trouble area to tone, comfy abdominals. So let's go ahead and keep your, bring your legs together, hands forward, rest your elbows on the pads, bend your knees. And later on, the advanced people can do it with straight legs. Yep. Bring those legs forward. And this is for your lower abdominals. It works your rectus abdominis. Squeezing it up, nice and controlled. Don't swing. You're using the effort of the abdominal muscles to raise your legs, not momentum. Two more. Last one, here we go. Good job. And then round it up as you come up. Remember this specifically tones that hard to reach area, the lower abdominals. I think we need to do more. I, th I think so. Okay. And here's where the advance. Watch Corey if you're just getting started. Advance, you're gonna actually straighten out your legs and tuck it in. Again, no swinging. Here we go. Five. Four. Good job. Come on. Three. Come on. Two. Last one. Squeeze those abs. You you did it. Okay. Okay, okay, it's time to do a little cool down stretch. So let's go ahead and get out of your cage. You are released from your cage. Lock it back down again. Okay, let's stretch out the back again. Take it down, flat, back. Good, and roll it up. All the way back. And this feels wonderful. Oh. This is your treat. Oh yeah, I like. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the workout. And let's do two more, stretching out all oh, those muscles. All the way up. And one more, and we're going to stretch out the triceps. Bring that arm up. Okay, and gently pull back on your elbow. We're, we're stretching out the triceps because in that body suspension, we really had those isolated. <laughs> we it. sure did. Yes, and go ahead okay, and stretch to the other side. Stretch that tricep. Feel that right here in the back of the arm? This will help you from getting sore tomorrow. Okay, both hands on the back of your cage. We're gonna stretch out the calf. Okay, and a nice deep lunge. 
gently press your heel back to the ground. Don't bounce. Just and both gently. feet are pointed forward. Yes. Your, your knees are tracking over your feet, directly forward. Good job. Flat back, neck in line with your spine. Press that heel and release. And one more time, press that heel into the ground. And you do the other side, so let's go ahead and switch sides. Same thing, knees forward and press. Feel it in the calf stretching up. Good job. Now we did a lot of legs and release. And we're going to go again one more time. Gently pressing it down. Okay, now take that right leg. You want to stretch out the quadricep. You can bend the supporting leg. Hold on for support so you keep your balance. Shoulders square, stomach in nice and tight. And gently pull back to feel the stretch in the quadricep with the front of the thigh. Good job. Let's do the other side. Make sure you do a proper cool down stretch after every workout when your muscles are warm. You always stretch a warm muscle. Okay, now for the hamstring. Okay, gently put your, lift your heel, I mean your toes forward. Feel the stretch in the belly of the muscle right here behind. The pelvis is still tucked in. Yes. Tight. Yes. And you can keep your knees slightly bent to keep the strain off the muscle too. And let's switch sides for the opposite hamstring. Good job, flat back. Okay, lift those toes. Good job. How about a little bit inner five? Yeah. Let's go ahead and do okay. that. Step out to the side, and you can support yourself here and stretching it down. Good job. Now feel the stretch in the inner thigh. Real gentle stretching. If you can only go down this far, that's fine. And support Stretch it out with your right hand. Absolutely. Your left. Always this should be your left. <laughs> <laughs> and to the other side. Now this was a fantastic workout. You guys did great. Remember, just a little bit of exercise every other day, three days a week, and in no time at all, you're going to shape up. I want you to stand up, take a deep breath, pat yourself on the back. You did great. Excellent right. workout, Good Kim. Good job. And we'll Woo. see you next time. Great job.